Hello there, my fellow myth and fantasy nerds. My name is Tanner, and I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Now for this, the 11th installment in my series where I introduce you to the D&D &D characters that I've created but haven't played yet, I will be going over my Tabaxi characters. Now, for those of you who don't know, Tabaxi are essentially a race of humanoid cats, similar to how the Loxodon you met a few videos ago are humanoid elephants. Now, Tabaxi are said to be driven by curiosity to collect artifacts that they find fascinating, gather stories, and try to see all the wonders of the world around them. This instinctual curiosity leads them to leave no mystery left unsolved, no buried riches lost to time, no stories left untold, and they hardly ever stay in one place for an extended period of time. Now, for those of you who haven't seen my D&D tag video, link to the video in the cards and in the description down below, the very first character I ever played was, in fact, a tabaxi. He was a tabaxi warlock with an archfey patron named Tricking Treat, or Trick for short. Now, tabaxi names are essentially like tribal titles. For example, Garden of Flowers, Game of Chance. Eclipse of the Moon, Tome of Secrets, etc., and are based on several factors, such as astrology, clan history, that type of thing. Uh, one more thing before I continue. This list may be shorter than the others, simply because, as I've already played a Tabaxi Warlock, Trick is not going to be on this list. So as always, make sure you leave a like on this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe down below. Pretty please, it always helps. And without further ado, allow me to introduce to you the first character in the 11th group of D&D characters that I created. Indigo, you're on! Thank you very much, Tenor. Hello, my name is Indigo Sky at Midnight. But you can call me Indigo. I am a tabaxi bard, and my backstory begins in a small tabaxi village, far away from here. When I was young, I used to play with all the other kittens. I learned my music, and we were happy together. But then our lord, who was kind and fair, died, and his son took his place. Now this lord was the opposite of his father, and he believed that people needed to be ruled by strict laws. Drunk with power, he enacted laws that his father would have deemed unfair and unjust, and our people suffered. We suffered for years under his rule, until a small rebellion cropped up, protesting these new laws. This protest led by myself, systematically complied by the very letter of the law, complying maliciously, starting with the pettiest of rules, and working our way up until our lord rescinded all the rules. My village has lived happily ever since, and when this lord tries to enact an unjust law, every tabaxi in this village knows exactly what to do. Now, as a bard, my charisma is going to be my strongest score at 18, and my lowest score is my strength at 9. Tanner's intent, once he plays as me, is to specialize as a College of Whispers bard, once I get to the correct level, that is. What this means is that we use the fact that bards tend to be welcomed with open arms to our advantage. We become wolves among sheep, gathering whispered secrets and using them to our advantage. As for my alignment, I tend towards the chaotic good. 
We tabac sit and thwart chaotic alignments as we prefer to let our fancies and impulses make our decisions for us. However, we are very rarely evil aligned, as most of us are driven by our curiosity rather than our greed or any other dark desires. Anyway, it was my pleasure to make your acquaintance, of course, and so I shall send you over to the next character. A winter? Yes, Indigo? Oh! Greetings to you. My name is Winter Breath, my friends call me Winter, and as with the others in this video, I am a tabaxi. However, in my case, I am not a bard, but a sorcerer, specifically a draconic bloodline sorcerer. Now, as for my backstory, I was raised in a dragon's den. My single mother was good friends with Fathor, a silver dragon, who allowed her and me to stay with her in her cave. In exchange, she and I, when I was old enough, would provide the services, such as greeting guests, cleaning, maintaining inventory, and cooking fine meals. <sighs> I have fond memories of playing in piles of treasure, stirring a two thousand gallon soup pot, donning magic clothes and weapons, leafing through esoteric books of powerful magic just to look at the pictures, and attempting to outwit our draconic landlady with whatever games and puzzles I could think of. I left to seek my fortune on good terms about the same time as Vatorum's youngling, Claire, with whom I share a close brotherly bond, left to establish his own territory. I hope someday to carve out a bit of the world for myself. My highest score, being a sorcerer, is once again my charisma at 16. While my horse score is a tie between my strength and my wisdom, at 10. And of course, my alignment is chaotic good. Anyway, it was a pleasure to be meeting you, but I should probably send you over to the next character. Place? Place. Placing fire! Right? A what? Oh, my apologies. I was in my own thoughts. I'm blazing fire, and I am a, a tabaxi druid. But, but, but please, call me Blaze. Now, my story, of course, is similar to the other druids you've met so far, due to the fact that I was from a druidic village that was destroyed by a dragon. Like, most of the other druids, it was in fact an ice-breathing white that dragon. Now, like with the others, Tenor has not yet played me, but he does plan on making me a circle of wildfire druid once I get to the correct level. Also, as with most of the other tabaxi you've met and will meet, I am a chaotic good. My highest score is my wisdom at 18, but my lowest score is once again my strength, this time at 8. Anyway, it was nice to meet you, of course, but I find being in nature very calming, so I think I will go do that. A brush, do you mind taking over from here? Of course I will, Blaze. How do you do? My name is Stroke of a Brush, my friends call me Brush, and I am a tabaxi wizard. Now my story is actually really similar to Indigo. Born into a tabaxi village, the new village chief becoming corrupt, and me leading a rebellion secretly sabotaging the laws he created. Now when you factor in the ability score increases I get from being a tabaxi, my highest score is actually not my intelligence this time, but my dexterity at 17. 
My worst score, on the other hand, is still my strength at 10. Now, like with most of my fellow Tabax characters, I am of the chaotic good alignment, and Tanner's intent as soon as he places me is to specialize as an Order of Scribes wizard, similar to a lot of the other wizards you've met, as soon as I get to the appropriate level. Anywho, it was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, of course. However, we've got to round off this group of characters, and I think I know just the Tabaxi. Oh, Storm, I think I hear someone talking bad about your village. Gotta go. Where is he? Let me on him! Let me on him! Oh, apologies if I scared you. My name is Storm on the Horizon. My friends call me Storm. And once again, I am also a Tabaxi. However, I am a Tabaxi barbarian. To make a long backstory short, I basically have the same story as most of the other Tabaxi you've met. Tabaxi village, corrupt chief, silent rebellion, yada yada yada. Now, once again, since Tanner has not played me yet, I do not have a character level at this time. But the plan is, when he eventually does play me, I will take the barbarian path to the Storm Herald as soon as I reach the appropriate level. In my case, my best score is my constitution at 15, and my worst score is my wisdom at 9. And of course, like all the other tabaxi, my alignment is chaotic good. Anyway, I think it's high time to wrap up here. Damn! Storm, retract those claws at once. Ugh. Yeesh. Here I thought we were done with the aggressive barbarians. Anyway, and there we have it. That was the 11th set of D&D characters that I've created, but haven't played yet. If you liked this video and you want more, please leave it a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos. Also, if you have any other ideas for any future videos you want to see, please leave your thoughts in the comments down below, and who knows, it might just happen. Alright, well, it's all the time I have for this video, so I'll see you all next week with part 12 in this series, where we'll be going over my tiefling characters. See you guys then!